Hello, Golden Knights. We are so excited to be reunited with you this fall semester, or if this is your first time on campus, to meet you and welcome you to an experience that is sure to inspire you. Gannon University has been diligently preparing for this moment, the moment when we can all come together again to learn in the classroom, engage in campus life, and transform our futures and the world around us in meaningful ways. After all, that's why we're here, right? But coming together requires some changes around campus life to ensure your safety and well-being. We're here today to walk you through some of these changes, policies, and procedures that are being implemented so you can know what to expect. Things might look a little different this year, but we're confident these plans will provide you the best possible environment and academic opportunities that we know to be true to an impactful Gannon experience. A healthy Gannon community starts with you. Monitoring your health daily is a vital step in safely reuniting on campus. For this reason, we're requiring that you complete two key action steps before arriving on campus each day. First, complete a daily COVID-19 survey that can be accessed through the LiveSafe app. There is also an online version that you can find on your computer and a paper survey that can be completed and brought with you to campus. The survey is only four simple questions, meaning you can complete it and be on your way in no time at all. Second, monitor how you're feeling. If you're showing symptoms of COVID-19, don't report to class or for on-campus work. Instead, notify the Gannon Health Center of your symptoms and contact the Student Success Center so instructors can be made aware of your absence. A key to keeping our entire community healthy is by policing for fevers. Anyone with a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher will not be permitted to attend class or use our facilities. That's why we are giving every student and employee a thermometer as we restart classes. Please check your temperature in the morning, but if you can't, once you arrive on campus, you'll be able to use one of several temperature screening centers where designated personnel will check your temperature using a no-touch thermometer. You'll be required to be screened to enter by your cafeteria, Nash Library, and the Recreation and Wellness Center. We'll also be providing a supply kit that you can carry with you while on campus to ensure that you have all the resources that you need at all times. Each kit includes a disposable mask and a Gannon branded cloth mask, a two ounce bottle of hand sanitizer that can be refilled on campus, a personal thermometer, a no touch keychain that can be used to open and close doors and press buttons and resource sheets that outline our LiveSafe app, protecting yourself and others against COVID-19 and wearing your mask comfortably and safely. The best way to keep you and those around you safe is to follow our key safety guidelines. This requires that you maintain social distancing guidelines that emphasize keeping six feet apart. Wear your face covering while in common areas and anywhere that appropriate physical distancing is not possible. Practice rigorous personal hygiene by washing your hands, using sanitizer when you can't wash hands, covering your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze, and avoiding touching your face. And follow campus signage and floor markings that indicate the flow of foot traffic in certain areas the maximum occupancy of a room or area, or where you should stand while waiting in line. Each of you have returned to campus this semester because you have ambitions, visions, and capabilities that can change the world. And we want to engage with you in ways that will foster your individual successes. That's why we've decided to continue to offer in-person classroom learning this fall. To ensure that our classroom collaboration is carried out in the safest way possible, we've made certain modifications. For example, we've reconfigured classrooms and laboratories to encourage physical distancing, meaning all desks, tables, and chairs will be placed six feet apart. Class schedules and delivery has been arranged to ensure social distancing, including adjusting locations on campus to rooms with larger capacity and limiting class sizes. 
Each time you enter your classroom, you will be expected to confirm that you have completed your daily health screening via the LiveSafe app or wellness check card. You will also be expected to wear a mask or face covering. Refusal to comply with either of these expectations will result in you being asked to visit one of the wellness check stations to complete a wellness check or obtain a face mask, leave the classroom, or ultimately be removed from the classroom by campus police and safety. At the end of each class, you will be asked to spray down your work surface using sanitizer solutions that can be found at a sanitation station in each room that also includes disposable gloves for extra protection. We know that some of you may have conditions that are considered high risk for COVID-19 by the CDC or other special circumstances that may cause you to be concerned about returning to the classroom. We understand these worries. If you are one of these students, please contact the Student Success Center to request instructional accommodations. We're prepared to make every experience on campus as safe as possible for you, not just in the classroom. For example, we've adjusted our dining services to follow safety guidelines and service approaches that prioritize your health and well-being. You will discover an array of grab-and-go food options that allows us to serve as many students as possible while maintaining reduced occupancy in dining areas per state guidelines. Social distancing measures should also be practiced within our dining facilities. Our mission is to create the best environment possible for you to continue your academic journey with us here on our campuses. We've put in place guidelines around testing, quarantining, and contact tracing in concert with the health departments of Erie and Hillsborough counties, and that require your compliance to ensure this remains true. If at any point you begin showing signs or symptoms of COVID-19, or have had exposure risks, you will be required to receive testing. You can also receive testing upon request. You will be asked to quarantine if you are awaiting test results. If you live on campus, you will need to quarantine in your residence hall or return home based upon your preference. If you live off campus, you will need to quarantine at your residence or home. Contact tracing protocols have been implemented to locate those who might have been exposed to any positive cases on campus. All information gathered will only be shared with designated contact tracing personnel in compliance with HIPAA regulations, meaning any information you share with us will remain confidential. Our return to campus is a monumental step toward achieving the normalcy we all know and long for. But continued forward momentum requires that we adhere to these guidelines that are in place. You will receive an acknowledgement of mutual respect and responsibility regarding COVID-19 form that must be signed as a guarantee of your commitment to the standards set forth by the university and an acknowledgement that you understand any consequences that may result from a failure to comply. As we take our first steps onto campus this fall, we are committing to an outward demonstration of who we are as socially responsible citizens of a Catholic university and of our care and concern for the safety and well-being of ourselves and those in our Gannon and surrounding communities. And we must do this together. We know you have questions and maybe even some anxieties about the future. We hear you and we want to help you. You can find resources to all of our policies, procedures, and communications, as well as a question or comment submission form on update.gannon.edu. We encourage you to access these resources and continue to monitor your email for additional information that will be communicated as it becomes available. Finally, thank you for your flexibility and persistence in this ever-evolving situation. Please note that we are operating in compliance with the guidance and recommendations issued by federal, state, and local public health and government officials, which is subject to change. Welcome back, Golden Knights, and we are so glad to see you.